here we are on board with Coxie and he is riding Silver Class at the Ironstone Extreme, a part of the National Hard Enduro Series done by Grassroots Enduro Australia. We actually have two expert commentators, Coxie himself. Hey guys. And my brother, Jeff Morris. Howdy folks. And we just thought we would not only have a look at some of the highlights from the silver lap, but ask Coxie about it. And I'm just wondering, Coxie, whether I should explain your history or you should. I think you might be better to explain it. Sort of just maybe when you first started getting interested in hard enduro and up to the present. Yeah, so it was probably 2016, 2017 when I started to not necessarily get interested in hard enduro, but on our trail rides we'd quite often come across uh, logs that had fallen across the trail and I just didn't want to go to the effort of riding around logs so I thought hey can I ride over this log uh, which um, started the, the whole ball rolling. In 2018 in August I went to a traction e-raid clinic over in Kanakistan and that was a, a bit of an eye-opener. Had did some awesome riding over there but it definitely gave me some goals to work towards as far as um, getting a foot in the door with hard enduro riding. I can remember that actually because I was there on the same trip in Canada and you religiously applied everything. There'd be coaching in the morning then there'd be a social ride in the afternoon. And it was quite hilarious. You would see all these guys looking very keen to learn, and then they would just not apply any of it for the social ride in the afternoon. But I could see you just doing it precisely. You know, not treating it as a social ride really, but just going, now's the time to put it into practice. Yeah, well, there's, there's a lot of time and money that gets invested into traveling across the world to go and do a course like that but also the caliber of the coaches that they have on those uh, e-rag clinics that, that they're so fantastic and you see the things that they can do so you know that when they're giving you advice and pointers and telling you where you're going wrong you know that they're not giving you a bump steer they're giving you good advice that you really should follow up on what i find really interesting <coughs> is that you've been doing bronze events, bronze class events for how long now? Um, I did I only did two or three bronze events. Uh, I, I placed, I got, got a, a place in a race at the Insane Ride and I figured it probably wasn't fair to continue to ride in the, the bronze class given that I've placed in bronze. So um, I actually don't know how I ended up um, getting that place for the Insane Ride but anyway I figured rather than try and win a bronze class or finish on the on the podium at a bronze race I would rather try step it up to the next class and really challenge myself knowing that I'm probably never going to end up anywhere near the pointy end of silver.